Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Math grade 7. We are in chapter 5, lesson 1. We are in chapter 5, lesson 1. Today we want to learn algebraic expressions. Algebraic expressions. In this lesson, we want to know, to learn how to evaluate simple algebraic expression. So, what's the meaning at the beginning? What's the meaning of a variable? A variable. A variable is a symbol that represents an unknown quantity. We used any small letter to represent the variable. For example, A, small letter A, D, D, X, Y, etc. Any small letter means we have a variable. A variable. What's the meaning of a variable? Unknown number. Unknown quantity. Unknown quantity. What's the meaning of algebraic expression? Algebraic expression. An expression that contains a variable, numbers, and at least one operation. At least one operation. Such as, suppose we have m plus 2. N variable, two number, and the operation here plus. When you have variable, number, and at least you have one operation or more, the name, the name of this form, algebraic expression, algebraic expression. So N variable, N means variable, unknown number. We don't know the value of N, so means N variable. When you want, when you know the value of uh, the quantity, means you like to, means you have number, you have number. So when you have variables, numbers, operations, means you have algebraic expression, you have algebraic expression. What's the meaning of algebra? Algebra, the branch of mathematics that involves expressions with the variables with the variables this is the meaning of algebra what's the meaning of a coefficient a coefficient the numerical factor of a multiplication expression that contains a variable for example 6d in this expression 6d we have 6 number and we have the variable and the operation between them will be multiplication the name of six here the name of six here coefficient so the coefficient means the number who multiply by the variable the number who multiply by the variable this is the meaning of the coefficient when you have mn mn what the meaning of mn here we have two variables, we have two variables, and the operation between them will be multiplication. So mn means m times n, m times n. When we have 9 dt, 9 dt, what's the meaning of 9 dt? What's the meaning of this uh, expression? Means the operation between them multiplication. So 9 dt means 9 times d times t. 9 times d times t. A exponent 3 or A cubed. What's the meaning of A exponent 3? Means A times A times A. A repeated three times. And the operation between a and A and A will be times, will be times. Define a variable. What's the meaning of define a variable? Translate a variable first into an algebraic expression. This is the meaning of define variable. Now, to know what's the meaning of algebraic expression and how to evaluate uh, the symbol algebraic expression, see with me now this video.
All right, in this lesson, we're going to talk about evaluating algebraic expressions. And you'll recall in the previous lesson that we simplified some very basic algebraic expressions. So this would just be the next step. So we evaluate an algebraic expression by replacing the variable, or sometimes variables, in our expression with the given value or values, and then we just simplify. So for example one, we want to evaluate x plus 3 for x equals 7. So again, this evaluate word is just telling me to find the value for x plus 3 when x equals 7. So all I need to do is plug a 7 in for x here, and then just simplify. So if I plug a 7 in for the x there, I'm going to have 7 plus 3, and 7 plus 3 equals 10. So if I were to evaluate x plus 3 for x equals 7, I get an answer of 10. So you have to pay close attention here because I'm going to tell you something that's really important. The value of this algebraic expression is not 10. It's 10 when you let x equal 7. But if we were to say let x equal, let's say 9, well, I'd be plugging a 9 in for x, and I'd get 9 plus 3, and that equals 12. So you see that the value of this algebraic expression changes as we change the value for the variable. So that's an important concept. All right, let's look at a second example. Okay, for example two, we want to evaluate x squared plus x minus 5 for x equals 2. So again, I just want to plug in a 2 for each occurrence of x. I have an x here and here. So what I'm going to have is 2 squared plus 2. Yes, who has any question? طيب روح ما في داعي تقطع الدرس تبعنا الله يرضى عليك بده يروح على الحمام ما في داعي الا اذا في سؤال مهم مستر اي هاف ا كويستشن تفضل يا مستر هي ميد ذا فاست اكزامبل واز اكس بلس 3 هذه اكس واز 7 ذن ميسي مستر هي تشينج ات 9 واي Yeah, I'm so sorry because X. Here we have X plus 3. This expression X plus 3. X variable, 3 number. But the value of X here we, will be 7. And you want to find the value of the old expression. So put the value of X 7. So substitute here. X equals 7 plus 3. 7 plus 3 will be 10. Now the value of X will be changed from 7 to the 9, from 7 to the 9, okay? So put the value of x now, 9. So 9 plus 3, 9 plus 3 will be 12. 12. So you see that? Will be 12, okay, Abdullah? Okay, Mr. Like, Mr. you can't change it or no need? In the same example, uh, they can give me uh, uh, more value of the same variable, not not just uh, one value. You can give me two values, three values, and ask me to evaluate the expression for two values, three values, or more. Okay, Abdullah? Okay, Mr. Thank you. Okay, continue. Mr. you are recording this lesson or no? Yes, it's recorded. Please, please, please. Just if you have important a question, ask me, okay? All students now listen to the video. that the value of this algebraic expression changes as we change the value for the variable. So that's an important concept. All right, let's look at a second example. Okay, for example two, we want to evaluate x squared plus x minus 5 for x equals 2. So again, I just want to plug in a 2 for each occurrence of x. I have an x here and here. So what I'm going to have is 2 squared plus 2 minus 5. 
Again, all I did was I plugged in a two there where that X is. So instead of X squared, I have two squared. Then plus X, and I plugged in a two for that. So instead of plus X, I have plus two, and then minus five. And I can go ahead and just simplify here. Two squared is four. Okay, then plus two minus five. Four plus two is six, and then six minus five would be one. So again, this algebraic expression has a value of one when we let x equal two. All right, let's look at a third example. For example three, we want to evaluate y squared plus x cubed plus seven, or y equals negative two, x equals one. So here you're going to have to pay close attention again because we're going to go over another key point. So I'm going to be plugging in a negative two for this y here. I'm going to plug in a one for this x. Let me start out by just explaining to you that when you plug in this negative two here, it's going to be inside of a set of parentheses. Remember we did a lesson where we talked about when you have an exponent with a negative base, it's different when it's inside of parentheses and when it's not inside of parentheses. Well, here you want to make sure that negative 2 is inside of a set of parentheses. So we're going to have negative 2, substituting that in for y, raised to the second power, plus x, which we're plugging in a 1 for, raised to the third power. You can put that in parentheses too if you want, although because the base is not negative, it makes absolutely no difference. You can just not put parentheses around it. And then plus 7. So let me just explain real quick why negative 2 is inside of parentheses. Here we're asked to evaluate y squared plus x cubed plus 7 for y equals negative 2, x equals 1. So if y is equal to negative 2, and I want y to be squared, that means I want this number, negative 2, the negative and the 2, to be squared. right? So whatever y is, and in this case it's negative 2, I want that to be squared. So that's why I have parentheses around negative 2. So if I go through and simplify here, negative 2 squared with negative 2 inside of parentheses, that's going to give me positive 4. And then plus 1 cubed, I know that's 1, and then plus 7. So now I just have 4 plus 1, which is 5, plus 7, which is 12. Okay, so that's my answer. All right, for example, 4, we want to evaluate 5 minus x squared for x equals negative 2. Again, I'm plugging a negative 2 in for x, and I want to make sure that negative 2 is squared, that whole thing, the negative and the 2. So I'm going to put that inside of parentheses, and I'm going to square this. Okay, so negative 2 squared is 4, so I get 5 minus 4, and that's just equal to 1. So you can see how you could easily make a mistake, right? If you didn't put negative 2 inside of parentheses, you'd end up with 5 minus negative 2 squared, and you know because of the order of operations, this would be 4, so you end up with 5 minus basically negative 4, and that would be 5 plus 4, which equals 9, and this is all wrong, right? You get the wrong answer. Listen here to the, this example. Here we have 5 minus x exponent 2, or x squared, x squared. And the value of x will be minus 2. So, when you want to evaluate, here we have 5 minus the value of x minus 2. So, put the value of x between parentheses. So between parentheses here we have it's minus it's two. It's okay to solve it without parentheses. It's wrong. Yes. If you don't put if you don't put parentheses, we have here long wrong like the second case. I would explain. So always when you have minus, put the value between parentheses. Between parentheses. So what's the meaning of minus 2 squared or minus 2 exponent 2? Means minus 2 times minus 2 means 4. Means 4. So here we have 5 minus, 5 minus, and the value of uh, this part will be 4. 5 minus 4 will be 1. Suppose you put the value without parentheses, like the second case here. We write here 5 minus, then minus 
then to exponent two means here the minus out of the exponent the minus out of the exponent what is the exponent uh, what is the meaning of two exponent two means four so the expression now will be five minus minus four five minus minus four minus minus means positive so five plus four will be nine look to the answers the different answers the different answers so the second case we have wrong here because we didn't put the value of x between parentheses so remember always when the value of x have a negative or minus put the value between parentheses with the value between parentheses. Do you have any question here? Don't want to stop. Okay, great. Uh, let's look, take a look at example number five. So for example, five, we want to evaluate three X times five Y where x equals negative 1, y equals 2. So again, I'm going to plug in a negative 1 for x and plug in a 2 for y. So I'll have 3 times negative 1 times 5 times 2. Okay, and I can just go through. I know the sign's negative because they just have one negative factor. 3 times 1 is 3 times 5 is 15 times 2 is 30. So this is negative 30. All right, let's take a look at example 6. Okay, for example, six, we want to evaluate negative seven x squared minus five plus y squared minus x, or x equals negative three, y equals four. So again, I'm going to plug in a negative three for the x here, and I'm going to plug in a four for the y here, and a negative three for the x here. Just pay close attention to the signs. We have negative seven times x squared. I'm plugging in a negative 3 for the x, so remember this negative 3 is going to be inside of a set of parentheses. Okay, then minus 5, and then plus y squared, so I have 4 for y, I'm just going to put a 4 and then squared. And again, if you have a positive base, you don't need to put that in parentheses because it's not going to matter. And then minus x. You have to pay close attention here because you have minus a negative 3, right? You're plugging in a negative 3 for x, so this is minus negative three. And I've seen a lot of people come in and have a minus, a negative there, and they just put minus three instead of putting minus negative three, right? So you end up with the wrong answer because minus a negative is plus a positive. All right, so to simplify this, we want to start out by doing the exponents. So negative three squared with negative three inside of parentheses is nine. So you get negative seven times nine minus five plus 4 squared, that'd be 16, then minus negative 3, you're right, that is plus 3. All right, so next we want to do some multiplication. Negative 7 times 9, that's going to be negative 63. Then minus 5, I can just write that as plus negative 5, and plus 16, and plus 3. All right, so I'm just going to add from left to right here. Negative 63 plus negative 5, that's negative 68. Plus 16 plus 3, and then negative 68 plus 16. I would do 68 minus 16, and that's going to be 52, right? And then I use the sign from negative 68, so that would be negative 52. Just be negative 52 plus 3, and then I can do that one in my head. Negative 52 plus 3, that's negative 49. All right, let's look at one more. All right, for example seven, we want to evaluate three x squared divided by 12 plus y, where x equals four, y equals negative seven. And again, we want to plug a four in for the x, and we want to plug a negative seven in for the y. So we'll have three times four squared, and I don't need to put parentheses around that, I just did. And then divided by 12 plus, plug in a negative seven for y. Okay, so we're going to start out with the exponent operation. 4 squared is 16. So we'll have 3 times 16 divided by 12 plus negative 7. Okay, now we want to multiply before we divide. 3 times 16 is 48. 
Do I have 48 divided by 12? I can just write this plus negative 7 as minus 7. All right, so now we want to divide before we subtract. 48 divided by 12 is 4. So I'm going to end up with 4 minus 7, or 4 plus negative 7. But you should know by now that this is just going to be negative 3. So, what is the name of our lesson today? Algebra Star. Algebraic expression. Algebraic expression. Today, we want to learn how to evaluate. How to evaluate algebraic expression. So, what's the meaning of the Algebraic expression. What's the meaning of algebraic expression? It's an expression that have variables and right numbers. So, algebraic expressions means any mathematical sentence have a variable, numbers, and at and least expression. one operation. At least one operation. So, what's the meaning of the variable? What is the meaning of variable? Mr. Mr. A letter that ha has no value. Unknown number. Yeah, any, unknown. Yes, any unknown number. We can use any small letter to represent the unknown number. The unknown number here in the expression, the name of this unknown number, variable. Variable. We can use A in small letter, X in small letter, Y in small letter, etc. This is the meaning of the variable. Right, listen to me now to this examples. In the first example here, evaluate. What's the meaning of evaluate? Find the value. Find the value. We have this expression here, 3 between parentheses, t minus 4. What is the operation between 3 and the parentheses? Multiplication. Multiplication means here 3 times between parentheses, t minus 4. Now, 3 number and 4 number and t unknown, unknown number, t variable, t variable. And we have here uh, a minus and multiply. So in this, in this sentence, we have two operations. So we have now number and variable and two operations, means we have algebraic expression, algebraic expression. And the value of t equals 6. If you know the value of the variable equals 6, find the value of the expression. Find the value of expression. So what I do here? Write here 3. And open parenthesis. Then inside we have t. The value of t will be what will be 6. So you can write here 6. Then we have here minus. Then we have here four. Then close the parentheses. Now use the order of operations. We have multiply and we have parentheses. So the order for parentheses. So we can write now three times. Now inside the parentheses here we have minus. So 6 minus 4, 6 minus 4 will be 2. Now the operation now multiplication. 3 times 2 will be 6. 3 times 2 will be 6. Who has any question here? Clear for all? Okay. Clear, boys? Clear, clear, Mr. Okay. Focus with me, please. Clear, the second question now, evaluate. We have 6S minus 3T. Now, S variable, T variable, 6 coefficient, 3 coefficient, and here we have minus 
So in this sentence, we have two variables, S and T, and we have your coefficients. What's the meaning of coefficient? The number who multiply by the variable, the number who multiply by the variable. And here just we have, we have, we have here just here operation minus, and we have multiplication between the coefficient and uh, the number. So here we have algebraic expression. Now, if the value of S equal four and the value of T equal minus two, find the value of algebraic expression. Fine. 6S, the operation between six and S will be multiplication. So we can write six times the value of S will be four. So write here four. Then we have here minus. Then we have here three. Operation between three and T will be multiplication. So write times. The value of T will be minus two, will be minus two. So remember, always when you, ha when you have minus, put the number between parentheses. So open parentheses here, write minus two, then close. Two. Well, now use the order of operations. We have multiplication, we have minus, we have multiplication, the order for the first multiplication. Six times four, six times four will be 24 minus. Now here, as you see, we have minus three times minus two. Now, minus times minus, minus times minus will be plus. Three times two will be six. Now, we have addition here. 24 plus six will be 30. Who has any question here? No one, Mr. Muhammad. Clear for all? Yes, Mr. Great. So our lesson today, algebraic expressions, algebraic expressions. And the question now, evaluate each expression if W equal to X equal three, Y equal five and z equal six. Now here we have four variables, w, x, y, and z. But the first exercise, the expression here, two w. What the meaning of two w? Means two times the value of w. The value of w will be what? Will be two. Two times two will be four. Who has any question here? Okay. The second exercise, we have y plus 5. y, the value of y will be 5. So write 5 plus 5. 5 plus 5 will be 10. Who has any question here? Okay. The third exercise here we have nine minus z. Nine minus the value of z will be six. So write nine minus six. Nine minus six will be three. Clear for all? Okay. Yeah, Number four. We have x plus w. The value of x will be 3. So write here 3 plus the value of w will be 2. So 3 plus 2, 3 plus 2 will be 5. Okay? 
Number five. We have three plus three plus. What is the operation between four and Z? Multiply. So we can write here four times the value of Z. The value of Z will be six. Now you can use the order of operations. We have plus and multiplication. The order for multiplication. So we can write here three plus four times six will be 24. Now three plus 24 will be 27. Who has any question here? Okay, now we have 6y, 6y. What is the operation between 6 and y? Multiplication, so we can write here 6 times the value of y. The value of y will be 5. So we can write here 5 minus 5. Now, use the order operations here. We have multiplication and subtraction. The order for multiplication. 6 times 5 will be 30 minus 5. Now, 30 minus 5 will be 25. Who has any question here? Okay. Here we have y x1 and 2, y squared, y squared. So the value of y will be 5. So we can write here 5 x1 and 2, or 5 squared, 5 squared. What's the meaning of 5 squared? Means 5 times 5. 5 times 5 will be 25. Clear here? Clear for all? Yes, mister. Great. Now we have here y minus x. y minus x. The value of y will be 5. Minus. The value of x will be 3. Now, 5 minus 3 will be 2. Number 9. We have z over 2. The value of z will be 6. And here we have 2. 6 over 2 means 6 divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 will be 3. Will be 3. Who has any question here? Okay. Evaluate the expression if m equal 3, n equal 7, and p equal 9. m plus n. The value of m will be 3 plus the value of n will be 7. 3 plus 7 will be 10. Here, 12 minus 3 times m. 3 times m. 3. 3. Times. The value of m will be 3. Here we have minus and multiplication, the order for multiplication. So we can write here 12 minus 3 times 3 will be 9. 12 minus 9 will be 3. Here we have 5p. Means 5 times b. 5 times the value of... So P equal 9, so 5 times 9 will be 45, will be 
45. Who has any question here? Clear for all? Fine. Here, we have 20 minus 2 times n. 2 times the value of n, 7. Means we have 20 minus 2 times 4 will be, sorry, 2 times 7 will be 14. 20 minus 14 will be 6. And here, n equals 7. So write 7 up and down we have 7. 7 over 7. 7 divided by 7 will be 1. Here. Dr. Muhammad. Hello. Can you say the number 14 and 15? 3.3 times 9. The value of P will be 9. Plus 2. Now, 9 times 3.3 .3 will be 29.7. Plus two will be thirty one point seven. And number fifteen here we have two times B, two times the value of B, two times nine plus three point three. Now, 2 times 9 will be 18 plus 3.3. 18 plus 3.3 3 will be 21.3. Thank you, Dr. Muhammad. Okay, welcome, welcome. Who has any question now? Okay, time over. Thank you for your listening. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Please uh, uh, don't forget uh, on next Tuesday, we have uh, math quiz in the same period of math quiz. Mister, this Tuesday or next Tuesday? It's this Tuesday, this Tuesday, after tomorrow. Okay? Today, I, I will send today the revision. Okay, thank you, Mister. Mister, uh, Tuesday or Wednesday? Tuesday, Tuesday. Thalata, yom al thalata al qadim, baad bukra, after tomorrow. Yani, yom al ahad, bukra. Mr. Al-Attendi, Mabta. Naam. Al-Hadur wa al-Ghiyab. Khalas, akhattu al-Kitroni, al-Hadur wa al-Ghiyab, akhattu al-Kitroni. Madal anna wakt al-Yom, fa akhattu al-Kitroni. Ma'as-salam, Mr. Ma'as-salam, yalla. Thank you for your listening. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Yes.